We all agree that giving the player the ability to switch gravity can give your game a whole new level of excitement and gameplay, whether to allow him to walk on walls or the ceiling. That's of course if your game story supports this feature. That's why in this tutorial I'll show you how to give this ability to your player. Welcome to this new video by the Gamesmith. Now I have a simple scene of only the player trapped in this room and he has only the ability to move left and right. All the components we'll use in this tutorial are the same as those we used in the movement, which are the collider, the rigid body 2D, and the control script. So we won't need to add anything else. So now head directly to the script, open in Visual Studio, and let's do some coding. When it's open, head to the update function and add small code to tweak gravity, which will be an if statement to check that the game is getting an input from the player. So type if and between two brackets input dot get key down then key code dot space. So now we set our input to be the space key in the keyboard. And inside this if statement type me which is the rigid body reference dot gravity scale multiply equal negative one. So that will change the sign of the gravity or the direction from positive to negative whenever the player presses the space key. And now it's done. Yeah, it's that simple. Now save the script and return back to Unity, play the game, and you'll see that the player switches between walking on the ground and the ceiling. However, his looking direction is completely messed up. We'll do some more coding and call the flip up function after the gravity switch inside the if statement. Now go below the update function and add a void flip up. And inside this function, define a vector3 called scalar up and set it to equal transform dot local scale. Then we multiply the scalar up dot z by negative one, which will be scalar up dot z multiply equal negative one And then we set the transform dot local scale to be equal to scalar up. Now you'll find that everything works perfectly. Okay, so that was for switching the gravity between the ground and the ceiling. But what if you want to add the gravity to the walls? To do so, go ahead to Edit, then Project Settings. After that, in Physics 2D, you'll find the field for gravity. This field takes the value for the x-axis and the y-axis. However, this is permanent and cannot be changed during the gameplay. Then, how to fix this? We'll do some more coding and start by removing the code we just added and replace it with four if statements. The first of which is an if input dot get key down key code q for example. Then set the gravity by typing physics 2d dot gravity. to be equal to a new vector2 and between the brackets add the value you want for the x-axis and the y-axis. And then repeat the same steps with the rest of the directions and of course with different input keys. 
But now, and again, you'll see that the same messed up looking direction problem happens. So to fix that, we'll need to add a new bool called upright. And then in the start function, we set it to true. Then we call it in the two if statements that changes the value of the gravity in the y axis. When walking on the ceiling, we'll want to check that the upright bool is set to true. Consequently, for walking on the ground, in spite of being if input dot get key down and then the key code you chose, we'll want to also check for the upright bool to be false. And to ensure that the value changes by changing the position from ceiling to ground or ground to ceiling, go ahead and inside the flip up function, add a code that will be upright equal to not upright. Like that, you made your player able to switch its own gravity and walk on walls and ceilings. And by that, I'll mark the end of this video. So if you learned something new today, give this video a thumb up, share it between your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmas, and as usual, see you in the next one.